Well, it seems like we went straight from the end of August to the end of October <laughs> with the weather that we've been having. There wasn't much of a transition, no, really. And, and it was several days of it, too. Now, so this is day four where we've only gotten into the 60s in the peak of the afternoon, right? Right. But tomorrow we're returning to 70s. We're okay. returning to sunshine. We've seen some rain this weekend. That'll be nice. It'll be a nice change. I do love sun. the fall. It just came on. Oh, I know. <laughs> like I know. a lion. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't hear any people, like, really complaining. It's just the adjustment. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So it's beautiful weather. Have a look. 60s, they're nice, they're comfortable. 65 right now in Lansing, 64 in Jackson. A little, little bit warmer on the west side of the state where they saw a little bit more of that sunshine. But either way, still a cooler than average day. We've got this north wind bringing in the cooler air across the Great Lakes, but we're right on the edge of change. It got up to 70 in Marquette today. Low 70s across Green Bay, Chicago, 80s further west. That warmer air is going to be moving in as we go through the next several days. It's also got a lot of sunshine attached to it. Beautiful clear skies for at least most of the Midwest and Central Plains. Here we are right in that transitional spot. We're on the edge of, remember days ago, I was talking about Tropical Depression Gordon. Well, this is a lot of the moisture that's been left over. Clouds, rain, nothing much to it, but it's finally working its way eastward. Elsewhere, the tropics, they are busy. Hurricane Florence now a powerful Category 4 as of a few hours ago. Behind it, we got a weaker Category 1 and Category 2, Isaac and Helene. Not likely to make too much of an impact on the U.S., but Florence is a different story. Let's go into the forecast. Here we go, packing 140 mile per hour winds, but look at the Category 4. Category 4 likely to maintain strength as Hurricane Florence moves towards the East Coast. Recent forecasts have been trending towards North Carolina, but a lot of the East Coast is going to see massive impact, likely to make landfall around Thursday time frame. But it will be an issue that we'll be tracking very closely as it goes through the entire weekend ahead of us. Might even impact uh, parts of Michigan by next week. We'll talk about that in the seven day. Cool and cloudy, though, in your weather headlines. We will be talking about sunshine, though, as we get later on into tomorrow's forecast. Here we go into your future track. Mostly cloudy through tonight. If you're seeing any rain, we're talking sprinkles or a drizzle. No real energy left for any rainfall. It's all going to be slowly but surely clearing away eastward. So here we go. Cloud cover tonight and then into Tuesday. Maybe partly cloudy in the morning, a few peaks of sun. But by your afternoon commute, mostly sunny. Beautiful conditions to end your Tuesday. Stays nice and mostly clear Tuesday night. Here's Wednesday's forecast. More sunshine, beautiful weather there. Even into Thursday, likely to stay rain free, but might catch a few extra clouds by Thursday afternoon. That's about it for the next several days. Mid 50s tonight, mostly cloudy, but slowly clearing. Tomorrow up to about 74, several degrees, almost 10 degrees warmer than it was today with that afternoon sunshine. Into the 70, look at those temperatures slowly rising. Mid 70s to upper 70s to 80 by about Friday. Sunshine the next couple of days. Partly cloudy for Thursday, Friday. A lot of partly clouds in there through the weekend too. Next chance for rain. Maybe Monday or maybe even as early as Sunday. That would be the remnants of Florence. But that's mm. so far down the line. Right. I don't anticipate a whole lot of confidence with that yet. It's not okay. a chance rain on Monday. But Florence still a very big concern on the East Coast. You'll be yeah. hearing a lot about Florence this entire week. Definitely. Dustin, thank you.